today I'm going to teach you how you can take a background that you found on CodePen and turn it into an Elementor background that you can use in sections. Let's get started. So while browsing online, I found this example, and this is a good opportunity to say thank you to Mark Bowley that created this code pen. And in the tutorial today, we're going to create this code pen into an Elementor background using Unlimited Elements plugin. So to do that, what we need to do, first of all, we need to clean up the code a little bit because we don't want to add a background color to our body of the website and stuff like that. We just want the bubbles over here. So I'm gonna click fork over here. So this will be saved under my dashboard in my account and all the changes will be saved. I can later on share this if I have problems and advise with other developers. So let's take off everything that's related to the body. And first of all, let's see what's going on and if it's okay. So as you can see, here are the bubbles and they're transparent. So it means that they will always show the background color, but that's okay. So we'll give a background color to our section and it's using an ID, which is awesome. Let's check out the code a little bit over here. I think everything looks good. The next thing I'll do is I'll change this from position fixed to position absolute. The reason I'm doing this is because you don't want this to be fixed in your website. You want to be, you want it to be relative to your section in absolute positioning. Now I see when I made this change, there's kind of a scroll bar going on over here. So I'll just add overflow hidden to this div. And I can see that it's anchored to the bottom, to the left, to the right, and to the top, which is exactly what we want while using background sections. So I'm going to click save. And this is usually going to be your setup. So position absolute, bottom left, right, top. Great. Awesome. We're in the next step now. And the next step is actually bringing this into the plugin. So over here, we're inside of Unlimited Elements. It's a free plugin for WordPress that adds a widget library to your Elementor website. And over here, we have another section except for widgets which is called background widgets. I'm going to click on that once and it opens the background widgets library. You can use any of these predefined ones or create your own. I'm going to create my own by clicking add background widget. I'm going to call it bubbles background and click add background widget. It's over here. Let's double click and check it out. So over here in the HTML, I'm going to copy the HTML from the code pen and paste that inside, inside of the CSS. Let's copy this as well and paste that inside. Now, in any case that you're going to have an ID, if you want this to be used more than one time on the page, you do want to change this into a dynamic ID. So let's Copy this over here, change this to UCID, and over here, let's change this to UCID. Perfect, so that's a dynamic ID that Unlimited Elements plugin generates for us. To test, we're gonna open a new page. So add new, and we need to give our section a full height, otherwise we won't see it. So let's click Edit with Elementor, and wait for the page loader to load. I'm going to drop in a heading over here and to generate a new section. Click on the section settings. And over here in height, I'm going to choose fit to screen. Now this can be any height you want, but just for example purposes, but just for example purposes, I want to show this in full height. Let's center our text and let's give our section a background color. So it doesn't matter really which color right now, just so we see this, I'm gonna go for this one. And 
the new section over here is called unlimited background. I'm going to click on it once and now we can select our bubble background that we've just imported from CodePen. And there you go. Here are our bubbles. How awesome is that? So that was just a quick tutorial to show you how you can use unlimited elements background widgets. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one.